action. All right, hey friends. I'm here with my daughter Katie, who's doing the filming, and I'm going to give you a demo on safety wire. So I had to kind of set up a, a makeshift area here for myself, but these are the tools we're gonna to wanna to use. I like to use my safety wire pliers. Uh, I will show you how to use those. Otherwise, I like to use duckbill pliers, wire cutters, and uh, needle nose pliers. I'm gonna be using 032 stainless steel safety wire, and I'm going to safety wire these two bolts right here. Now if I get my safety wire out. The proper amount of safety wire is you want to do about twice the distance between here, plus about, oh, I need about 10 inches for the size of my hand. So that's an appropriate amount right there. Cut that off. And of course, always wear safety glasses when you're doing this. Uh, all right, I like to straighten it out so that it's not all kinked up. And I'm gonna start with this bolt here. Now remember, we have to have a positive pole which means that it has to be pulling the bolt tight, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I could start it from here and pull it around to where the hole is right here. That would be positive. Or I could start way over here, which I normally wouldn't, uh, but I will not do it because just the way it won't work with the camera. So we're gonna come around. So I'm gonna pull this one tight. I'm gonna go underneath and notice I'm doing it all with my hands here. Give it tight and I'm going to just twist it at a rate of about six to eight twists per inch. Now you'll notice that it's a little loose right here. That's not bad. I can tighten it and there's a way to tighten it, but you have to be careful not to over tighten it because it will break inside there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it real slow. I kind of do a loop and bring it around. Normally I do it faster and that tightened it up, all right? Now I'm gonna keep twisting it till I get to the hole right over here. Don't over twist because remember, you can't untwist safety wire. So you want to stop before you go too far. Put it through the hole. This is where I like to use pliers because these are sharp little ends. All right, so I'll pull that in. Then I'll use my pliers over here and I'll pull that tight right there. Bring that around. I'll pull this one in like that. And now this time I'm going to go backwards because I want this one here to come underneath this piece of safety wire. If you go this way, then it's gonna wanna tend to climb over the top of the head. So I go underneath, and again, six to eight twists per inch. And if I want, I can give it one little around the world loop right there. And I like to go at least a full inch right there. Cut it so that you have about three quarters of an inch sticking out. Now right there, that is a dangerous little thing. You have to hide your ends so nobody gets hurt. So I take that and I pull it right around into a loop. And I can run my hand over that and I won't get hurt at all. So that's how you would do it with that. Now I'll do this one and this one with my safety wire pliers. So again, I want an appropriate amount, not too much safety wire. I like to straighten it out. Now, there's an option you can do. This one has uh, holes at every single head angle, and I gotta plan it out so that it's pulling it tight. See, when I was done with this one, it's pulling this one tight, and it's pulling that one tight. It's going that way, and that's going that way. So, this one, I'll come out about right here, but there's an alternate. When you have all of these holes, you can, if you like, put it through like this. And I use my pliers. And notice when I use my pliers, I use it out here where I'm going to throw away the end. I don't like any sort of tool marks on my ply on my safety wire because that creates a stress riser. And I will give it a couple twists to get started. I want them just because. But here's the wonderful thing about safety wire pliers. So I'm going to go here. Now it does put tool marks in the wire, which is one of the reasons why I never do this inside of an engine. And you got to be careful because these little wires are going to whip around. And I just pull it. Until I get my six to eight twists per inch, and I'm done. And then I always finish it off by hand so that I don't go too far. That looks good right there. Bring it on through. Pull it tight that way. Pull it tight this way. Now some safety wire pliers, you can reverse them and twist the other way. Mine do not twist the other way. So once I get it started, I usually just clamp it here and then twist by hand like that. Get a little loop like that so it's 
tight, but not too tight. Cut it off. Hide my pigtail. Whoosh. And there we are. That's going positive pull. That's going a positive pull. Nice and tight, nice and tight. The, kind of the test is if you can grab it here and pull it over the top of the head, it's too loose. Can't do it, can't do it. So I'm gonna call that airworthy and there we are, out of safety wire. <laughs>